Hey, Knuckles is suddenly coming out all at once. Two trailers in one week? It almost feels too good to be true. It's certainly better than what Pixar's slapping out on the side. Welcome to our very quick Super Bowl exposure this week. I stayed up late as a Brit to see this damn show at like three o'clock in the morning. And hey, at least I saw something of a trailer. The Super Bowl commercials are known for being either really good or just incredibly bad, cringy and full of celebrity plugs. And though it's been more of the latter more recently, apparently it also had a squeak of movie news and TV series is being announced. Sort of. Most of the time it just said, hey, the trailer is out now, buzz off and go watch it somewhere else, you schmuck. But Knuckles, the TV series, is real. We talked about it over the weekend with their first initial trailer, and it turns out they had a second one in their back pocket to release a few days later. This is mostly the same, but there are some new shots we can now talk about as we get to see what Knuckles was side-eyeing protagonist American comedian for. It was Knuckles Cage. I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. Now let's take a stint of trying to stitch all of these shots together in chronological order. On top of the fact that we've got an extended version of the comedian in his police car with Knuckles. Oh my god, no, that was it. That was it. And then at the end it says trailer out now. Ah! This is... It's... it's is it better? Yeah, it's, the, it's actually the same amount of content as Inside Out 2. There's nothing to bounce off of it. Well, at least the first trailer had plenty to bounce off of. I know that trailer pretty well. I've been staring at it too much. Across six episodes, we do have all of the titles of these episodes, but I can't exactly pass exactly what they mean. They're all kind of cryptic in their own way, and I'm not even sure if they're exactly confirmed. What we can assume is, at the very least, there will be a flashback of him back at Angel Island, kind of like how the start of the Sonic movies show a little bit of Green Hill. I imagine these are more likely to be flashbacks rather than the beginning of the story, because Knuckles has already appeared at the beginning of the story. But I would then go on to assume that episode one is meeting with the comedian. This is where we see the police car and seeing his house for the first time. And then maybe even early on, that will be the element of him trying to become a warrior. I kind of see the warrior element being more of an episode two element. It kind of feels like Knuckles just kind of abandons the comedian after a while. But you know, sure, whatever. Come round to episode two and three and we will see our villains for the first time talking behind the scenes. I would imagine as well, maybe at the episode three mark, we have that confrontation in the bowling alley where the villains are there with their knuckles fists to do something and then tell cringy comedy bits on the side that is not what we're here to watch a sonic based tv show about yeah sure whatever also with the postman element in his house and the warrior sequence that's again an episode two thing in fact similarly i imagine the motorcycle thing is like the end of episode two of him being taken out after being a warrior in fact that could even lead into what's next as we know for episode five and six there is a place called reno which i assume is the casino area we see towards the end this could also explain the transition as we see Knuckles now on a motorcycle probably going to Reno after taking it from the guy that kidnapped the comedian for some reason how did he do that anyway I don't, you know what doesn't matter a little bit of fun I'll take it and then that's where you have the proper confrontation against the hound with his big Iron Man 2 villain electric whip dude attack you know, it's actually looking back at this trailer as well, it's kind of disingenuous how they do just splice in footage of the main movies as well, but not as badly as Mega Mind 2. That full on just tried to make it look better by showcasing a far better budgeted animation, you know? But you know, it's not as egregious this time, just to explain, hey, here's the past. We do also see little segments of Knuckles with Sonic and slightly with Tails. I imagine that's like an episode two thing, maybe even episode one for the sake of retention, but it doesn't stick around. I don't think Sonic's gonna be there for the finale. He's just there to say, hey, how you doing? I'm an influencer randomly for a small mini segment, and then they get on with their day. I mean, we actually see Sonic and Tails in with the Postman segment, which I would guess is episode two, and then they buzz off. I don't know, they go on some other side plot. If they do all come together for a nice climax, that would be brilliant, but I don't have the highest hopes. I don't need it. It's fine. They've gone to follow wherever the hell James Marsden's gone. Also, actually, Knuckles doesn't even need a motorbike. They have ring teleporters, don't they? Well, whatever. There's also a brief segment where we see Knuckles' elder chief as well as him gliding in the air. Again, that's kind of like episode... Well, the glide seems like a kind of climactic thing. The elder tribe, I feel like it's just like a... He's in the house. Actually, is he? Oh, he's not even at the house. He's just at the bowling alley. <laughs> Why? Okay. Pacha Kamek is his, apparently his name. Probably Christopher Lloyd. Why? Okay, I guess the worlds are combining together. Well, then he'll be in the bowling episode, which is like episode three or four anyway. You know, the conflict in the middle before going to the bigger major boss. 
or something. There's then also some sort of school hall that will be another area for a battlefield. Maybe that's like the grunt villains getting another second segment in like episode four or five. There's also an ESPN chuck out in the middle. They don't seem to go in a stadium in any other shot, so either that's still part of the school thing or just... I kind of figured that was the Super Bowl element, to be honest. I thought that was just their way of piecing the things together, but no, it's just in there. Maybe people are betting on the main, main villain. No, it's bowling. It's bowling tournament of champions. Okay, so there's a big aspect to this bowling alley, huh? <laughs> All right. Okay, so looking into this more, it actually seems like the bowling alley segment is part of Reno. So it's kind of like a... It's not going to be a finale already, right? They're not going to do the grunt villains in episode 5 when they first go to Reno and the bowling alley and then the major, major super villain in episode 6, right? That's poor pacing. Still, we see a giant sort of ball landing on Knuckles, which I assume is from the bowling alley. It could just be something separate later on. The ESPN segment is about bowling championships. And I mean, the, the bowling alley seems kind of quiet by the time the villains come in, but maybe they just run away. Uh, all right, like, whatever. Maybe the grunts end up being the actual supervillains and the whip guy just just a tiny guy on the streets. It feels very end of Sonic Adventure 1, and that's all there is to tell. Like, it's, it's a fair amount of stuff to see, but only for the Nicolas Cage edition. Also, there's a scene with Knuckles with his fists on fire rather than fist of electricity. I guess he levels up somewhere along the way. Crazy. Gliding against the moonlight, that's quite nice and spectacle. And punching rings to destroy teleporting powers. All right, cool, play around with the magic system. <laughs> I'm again disappointed that the Super Bowl trailer is basically just another, hey, the trailer's out now. But to be fair, that trailer released like just a few days ago. But then I guess that was what was designed for the Super Bowl. Ugh. Marketing around movie trailers is a right mess. I'm learning about how things are released as I'm going along this year. and <laughs> I'm just getting more and more disappointed. I'm never going to watch a Super Bowl again, I reckon. It's just a waste of my time. They were all just title cards saying, hey, watch it somewhere else just discovered a bug in my room give me one moment and it's gone right on to the next one this is part of a series pack as I'm going through all the animated trailers there are of Super Bowl we've done inside out 2 already today I'm sure it'll be shown on the side I'm releasing knuckles obviously right now apparently Kung Fu Panda Force actually got some stuff to look at so let's go to that next I will see you in a mo unless you're just coming in and then coming out again that was the Knuckles Super Bowl trailer. Wow, what a crazy 30 seconds and $70 million wasted down the drain. For now though, I'm gonna end it off there. My name's been Daz. Thank you for making it to the end of this little short one. And I will see you for the next trailer in a little bit.